Ardex Flexbone, the most advanced uncoupling solutions. Griplock technology provides maximum protection and the unique Flexbone design fills easily in just one pass. Choose your solution. Ardex UI720 Flexbone, the first unbonded uncoupling membrane for true 100% uncoupling. Or Ardex UI740 Flexbone for the most demanding installations. And coming in 2018, Ardex Flexbone Heat. Visit www.artexamericas.com for full details. Hello and welcome to Tile TV. I'm your host, Jennifer Riley. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia recently rejected challenges to OSHA's 2016 silica rule made by industry groups, including the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. OSHA's silica rule has weathered its court challenge and will remain in effect with a three-judge panel rejecting all five objections raised by industry groups on December 22nd. In 2016, OSHA published a final rule regulating workplace exposure to silica called Occupational Exposure to Respirable Crystalline Silica. The court, in its decision, noted that petitions to review the silica rule came from both industry and unions. A collection of industry petitioners believes OSHA impermissibly made the rule too stringent, and several union petitioners believe OSHA improperly failed to make the rule stringent enough. The panel rejected the union and industry challenges and upheld the 2016 ruling. Now OSHA will turn its efforts to making sure the standard is put into full effect and is enforced. The NTCA has appointed a subcommittee to continue work on providing its members with the most up-to-date information on the silica rule and how to develop an action plan to meet this standard in the field. Contact Jim Olson at jim at tile-assn.com if you would like more information on this important topic. Please stay tuned for more after this from our sponsor. Welcome back. Our second story features NTCA Training Director Mark Heinlein helping installers with another useful tip in this segment, question mark. That's right. That's section 4.0, General Requirements for Tile Installations, and I'm using the March 2017 edition of ANSI A108. You got that one? Okay, perfect. You're going to be just fine. All right, we'll talk to you again another time. Have a good day. Bye. Well, hi everyone. I just got off the phone with a member who is having a situation with a GC on a job site. This tile contractor is a member of the NTCA and he uses the TCNA handbook and the ANSI standards in all of his jobs. He's also interested in becoming a CTI, so I gave him the phone number for the CTEF. We didn't get around to talking about the ACT or ASTM or ISO, but what is it with all of these letters? You know what? I call it the alphabet soup of the tile industry. TCNA is the Tile Council of North America and is the Association of Manufacturers of Tile and Related Products. The ANSI, or ANSI, is the group of professional volunteers who write the standards and specifications for the manufacture of tile and related setting materials and installation guidelines. NTCA, or the National Tile Contractors Association, is the highly regarded association of tile professionals. Its primary purpose is standards-based education and support of contractors and the tile industry. CTEF, or Ceramic Tile Education Foundation, further supports the technical training, education, and certification efforts at all levels of professionalism in the tile industry. 
CTEF oversees the CTI, which is the Certified Tile Installer Program. All of these organizations work together to support you and me in the tile industry. There are other ingredients in the tile industry's alphabet soup, such as ACT, ANSI, ASTM, ISO. You get the point, but I'm hungry. We'll save them for another day. See you next time on Question Mark. Thank you for watching this episode of Tile TV. We'll be back, so stay tuned.